want to make yourself a safe mask to wear to battle COVID-19 coronavirus, but don't want to look like this. Well then, let's make one that looks like Mortal Kombat. Here we go! Arizona's Arctic Heroes. Arizona's Arcade Heroes. So kind of a fun build here today to challenge some of you arcade modifiers, something different. If you want to build yourself a custom Mortal Kombat mask to wear, first we're going to go to Pepakura Designer, which I'll have the link in the description for this. We're going to go ahead and download the Pepakura Designer. It's a very small program. Once that's downloaded, I'm also going to put the link in the description to go to this Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero Breather Mask template. So you can go ahead and download that template right here where it says Sub-Zero Alternate. Now these are pretty cool. You can actually put these templates down on foam, which I'll go over in a minute. But you have to have the Pepakura Designer program in order to load this template into the program and see the 3D diagram. So get the Pepakura Designer, grab this template, and then what we're going to do is going to go into our programs and open up the Pepakura Designer program and start that up. Now this program is very cool because it will let you see a 3D diagram of the actual build that you're going to be working on. So we're going to go first into the 2D menu. Um, so let's go into that. And actually, you know what, first we'll go to our desktop and load the Sub-Zero file in there. And then once that's on, you're going to see it shows up 3D here on the left side with the templates on the right side. And then something important that you want to do to make this a little more simpler is go to the 2D menu and do show flaps and remove that. So that way you can see just the templates without the flaps on there. Then we're going to go into our print and paper settings and make sure that it's on letter. It sometimes starts on A4 stock, but make sure you do the drop down and change that to letter in the print and paper settings. Then we're going to go ahead and print this and it should be, you can see one, two, three, four sheets over there on the right. So we're going to print that off. And then once we've got those printed off, we're going to head to the table and start building our mask. Okay, so now that we have our sheets printed off, you can see all the templates are on here, but we're actually not going to use all of these templates. We're just going to cut out a few of the main pieces that we need. There's a lot of extra details on there that aren't necessary, so let's go ahead and cut these out. And these are the pieces you're going to need right here, you guys. We need the eye piece right here. You can see that that's actually two pieces put together. You're just going to do one and then the other and then tape it together. And then right below that, you can see we've got the cheekbone piece, which... Um, actually, this is the grill piece right here. You're going to have the grill pieces and then those are over here. You just cut those out. And then the cheekbone piece is pretty easy as well. You just do one and then flip it over to do the other side and then cut out the inside for the 3D depth part, which I'll show you how to do in a minute when we're putting that together. But these are the only pieces you're going to need right here, guys. Now you are going to need a four-piece anti-fatigue foam mat set, which you can get at Harbor Freight for $9 and you're going to need a Sharpie black marker. Now you can also order these foam sheets online, but Harbor Freight has them very inexpensive. So we're going to open up and lay down one of our foam sheets and we're going to trace around each piece with our Sharpie marker. Now once we have our pieces traced out, I actually like to just trace all of them out. You can see this one's just both halves put together and again here both halves put together. So we're going to trace those out on the foam and then it's going to be time to cut these out. So. Now that we've got all of our pieces laid down on the foam, I found the best way to cut these out is with a very sharp X-Acto knife. So get yourself an X-Acto knife and we're going to cut all these pieces out. Now you see they're cut out. Pretty easy to do. It should only take a couple minutes. Once those are cut out, you can see the cheekbone pieces here are separate. So you want to hang on to those, your grill pieces and your nose guard piece, which I showed you these ones you'll need. So lay those all out and then get yourself some contact cement. Only about $8 at Walmart. Contact cement is the best way to hold this together. So you're going to layer the contact cement on each of the, the sides that go together. So I'm going to show you this in a time lapse here, but you can see here's our cheekbone piece and you are going to need to cut a 90 degree angle on the top half right underneath the eyelid where the cheek connects. Just cut one 90 degree angle on each side. 
then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna layer that with contact cement and after you do that guys you have to kind of set these down and let the contact cement dry for about 30 seconds maybe a minute and a half at the most in order to stick them together but we're gonna overlap this cheek piece slightly on here so that's got a little bit of depth to it so you see as I press that together it's a little bit 3d on the cheekbone piece and there's our 90 degree angle that we're gonna lay down and it kind of creates a curve effect once you put that on like that now we've got both sides underneath and it's starting to take shape there's the beginning of our Mortal Kombat mask coming together. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the nose guard piece. We're gonna attach that in the middle underneath the eyes. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more and attach that to the sides. And we're gonna layer our nose grill pieces actually with a little bit more contact cement. And then I'm gonna attach those. And you're gonna kinda of do this like a grill, you guys. You leave a little bit of space in between each one and just make it like a step ladder where those go down, layering each next to each other with a little bit of a gap in between. So once we've got that together, guys, that's the gist of our mask. We're going to move on to the next part. Okay, so now that your piece is put together, this is probably the most important step. This stuff is called Plasti Dip, and this is going to rubber coat everything we just worked on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake this up, and we're going to coat our entire mask with Plasti Dip. So I'm going to spray this on nice and easy. You don't want to have too much concentration in one area. You just want to cover every single part because what this is going to do is this is going to seal all of the cracks and all of the um, rubber cemented pieces so that they don't come apart. It's going to get in everything and seal it nice and tight. It's also going to make it very durable so that you're not going to have to worry about the foam ripping or tearing. So we're going to put a coat of Plasti Dip on here and we're going to let this dry and then we will come right back and check it out. But you see I'm putting it on nice and even, nice and thick. And then we are going to do the backside too, but let's let that dry. All right, guys. So you see we're all dry now and we've put Plasti Dip on both sides. And this thing is very durable and it's basically, whoops, you can even drop it. <laughs> it's good to go, guys. All the cracks are sealed in with rubber and it's basically going to fit perfectly on our face. Now this thing bends, as you guys can see, it actually will kind of bend. So when you put the elastic on it, it'll shape right to your face. And then we're obviously gonna put a coat of paint on this. And then on the back right here where these open holes are, we don't want any contaminants getting in. So we're gonna put some black microfiber behind that to make it an official face mask. But let's go ahead and go to the next step. Here we go. All right, I picked up some metallic red paint at Walmart for a couple bucks, and we're going to use that to put several coats inside the cheekbones and also on the front grill to give it that red shine since I've already done blue and yellow. Here we go. So just going to throw several coats of this metallic red on here. This is just where I chose to do it. You can, of course, paint this any way you'd like, but before we put our gloss on, I'm going to make this pop with some metallic red in all the right places. All right, guys, so we have our painted... Mortal Kombat mask. Now, this is a really important step because you want to seal this thing because if you guys look on the game, these masks are really, really shiny. So what I did was I got a can of triple thick gloss. Now this stuff's really good. You can get it at Walmart. It's called triple thick crystal clear glaze. This is the best type of gloss you can use. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray some on here. And I'm gonna do several coats of this, guys, but you can see right away it's gonna get shiny. This stuff is thick and it seals it. It almost makes the foam look like plastic. So we're gonna layer this on the whole thing right over the red, on the black. You don't wanna do it on the inside of the mask because then you're gonna be breathing in fumes, but you can do it on the outside of the mask. The inside is just gonna be rubber coated with the Plasti Dip, but we're gonna go ahead and coat this with a lot of gloss. We're gonna let this dry, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna check on our progress. All right, here we go. All right, guys, so over in the crafting aisle, you're gonna grab some of this elastic stripping that you can get from Walmart for about five bucks, I think for six feet, and you're gonna actually put this on both sides of the mask. You wanna keep it kind of tight so it'll stay in your head, and then you're gonna hot glue that on to both sides on the back side, and the hot glue should just dry in a few seconds. But get the sizing right, and it should stay right on. And then we're gonna put a piece of black microfiber fabric in front of our mouth filter to keep the toxins out. And then there it is guys you can see it's a shiny brand new Mortal Kombat filtration mask with the black microfiber where we breathe and the elastic strap around so let's try this thing on here we go Get over here. 
Alright guys, so as you can see, it's a really easy build, but very cool at the end. It looks like the masks in Mortal Kombat. Now, if you guys liked this video, please like and subscribe, and feel free to comment below if you have any questions for me, but... Man, I gotta say, this thing is so fun to wear out if you have to wear a mask somewhere. Everyone loves it. Thanks again for watching Arizona's Arcade Heroes, and I'm out of here. Gary Video Games are the latest craze to sweep the country and most of the world, too. Millions of people are addicted to hours of gazing at electronic images on game screens and arcades and in their own homes. What makes video games so popular? We'll search for an answer as we begin a special series on video games.